So take a look at this. Got a delivery today. Uh, got the Exmoor trim, seats, cubby box, steering wheel, all ready to go in. Got these mats as well. It's gonna be an exciting day, cleaning out Boris and making sure it looks fantastic again. Let's get going. Look at this, this is the Evander Classic Wood steering wheel. That does look pretty nice, doesn't it? So this is the boss that goes with the steering wheel as well. This is gonna be a lot nicer than my old plastic one. I've been looking forward to seeing what this is really gonna be like. So you've got the centre cap there and the main boss. There you go, look, slim boss, a lot slimmer than my old one, nice and black there. You've got the load lane logo on the front, all engraved. And I like that it's not too shiny. That's sort of a matte there and comes with the classic, great stainless steel hardware as well. So Really nice touch, that's lovely. So here you go. This is the <laughs> matching cubby box in should be fluted leather on the top as well. Got the signature, oh, that's nice. Got the bag on it as well to keep it all good in transport. But hello, look at that. That's a bit better than mine. I think it's actually the XL one, so it's taller, so you actually get a good armrest on there as well, which would be good. <laughs> uh, and we've got the bolts inside as well. And here you've got even a much better system than my current one. I've got in there a, I think it had like some brass fitment and it didn't even click down or anything. This has just got a nice fabric piece there, all carpet on the inside and actually clicks down nicely though when you come up. So uh, that's really great. And this actual cushion along the top is a lot thicker than the old one as well. So it's actually more comfortable. So this is the, uh, the main bit of the show. As you can see, there's probably the seat in here. That's all I can think it is. And I've gone for black leather fluted, which is sort of a classic look. And I was surprised when I looked at the box, it says they're heated as well. So yeah, thanks Exmo Trim for that. That's pretty cool. Um, what we've been using is this little knife, but I feel like that's not gonna do. I reckon we should use this one and go for it like that. So there's the seat base. A little sneak peek of the sort of style I've gone for. There you go, that's very cool. You can see it's the fluted sort of faux leather sort of thing I've gone for. That's really nice. And as you can see, a bit of attachment for the heated sort of system there, which is cool. Oh, look at that. Good luck, isn't it? I'm really, really happy. I went for this sort of style. The fluted, I think it's quite new to Exmoor trim actually. I'm really, really a fan of that. Here, the old seats, look at those, they're really not uh, in uh, tip-top shape. Either. You can even see on my driver's seat, there is actually a bit of metal sticking out. Look at all that. I usually had the tan seat covers on, but they were hiding a multitude of terrible things, really. Even on here, I put this on this canvas and like the uh, old brackets, like all the screws are coming out and the old uh, thing that held it up, like broke. And uh, this comes out when you try and take your cups out. <laughs> And uh, I put this carpet on myself here, which is the same as the back, but it's definitely not a good idea to have this sort of very cheap carpet here because it just picks up all the dirt, all the water was coming up from here, like the water, and um, it's just not a great idea. So this is definitely overdue. There you go. Put your nut on there, just so you don't smash yourself in the face and break your nose. <laughs> Start stripping it down, get the old carpet off, all the little seat box, little covers and everything. Definitely give it a clean, because I haven't done that for a little while. And then uh, get the new ones in. But it's going to be a bit tight, because uh, I put a little diesel heater in here and the, uh, the nuts are going to be quite hard to reach, but 
should be okay. So here you go, this is the driver's seat. It was actually the passenger's seat and I changed it to the driver's seat because it's actually in much better condition. And until recently, I didn't realize, if you come in here, look at that. That is a old Exmoor trim thing there. I'm not sure, maybe Exmoor trim could let me know when that's from, but I would say that's probably 90s, maybe early 90s. And if you look at the bottom there, it's sort of been stamped there, just like the new one has, but it's a lot better condition than the one I had on the other side. And it lasts quite well, so. But I think I'm still gonna go for my new ones, I reckon, as, uh, yeah well needed I reckon. So this one's rib nutted in thankfully because actually no I can't get my hand on this one so not too much drama if I couldn't. Let's get that one off. There we go. Take that one out. Cool that's pretty rusty look at that. The amount of dirt in here is just ridiculous. And when you slide that back and forth, it just sounds atrocious. It sounds like you've got a beach in there, it's terrible. You can see, this is my carpet I put on, extremely dirty <laughs> and needs to be replaced, which is good. It's definitely time. The old original foam there, crikey, that's really bad. As you can see, this is the glamorous bit. I'm doing the old cuppy box and it's the wrong size. Oh no, it's not, it's the right size. <laughs> There you go, just went underneath, unbolted it, and uh, yeah, it's not very fun way underneath, but it's necessary, and there you go. It's actually quite clean underneath, which is quite good. <laughs> There's the old one, get rid of that one. Got the cubby box out, as you can see, haven't cleaned it that much, which is a little bit embarrassing, but you know, it's gonna be better soon, and now I've got something to care about, and it'll be nice to keep it all nice and clean. So, just rip that off there, just uh, obviously stuck it in with some spray glue originally, and just need to remove it now, which is pretty good. And thankfully, got a new bit of seat, box covering to go back over it, which is great. So, oh, look at that, a quid. Here we go. So I've got this new rubber matting here from Brookwells. This is a genuine actual rubber matting that goes over the seat box and it's gonna be a lot better than what I had there before. That carpet was just not great. It's actually a really hard thing to find to source, so I just went genuine. And yeah, Brookwell's really helped me out there, so that's fantastic, so let's get it in. So we just put this in, uh, didn't get any shots of that because it's a little bit of uh, the classic rolling around on the floor, which is never fun to see or film. Uh, chucked it in, put the bolts down through, and uh, yeah, it's in. Good and sturdy, a little bit higher this one. The old one probably came down around five inches or maybe three inches lower than this one and all we need to do now is just put the uh, new cup holder in and we're yeah we're good to go yeah very good as you saw we just put the seat box in cleaned it all up before and now that's down which is nice cut a couple of holes to custom fit some wires and the diesel heater and also the new cubby box as well that's all in and now it's time for the seats that's the next bit, it's gonna be quite fun. I think it's just gonna be a bolt in and it should be ready to go. That's nice, let's get it done. There we go, look at that. Crikey, that looks good. <laughs> that's gonna look really good. So as you can see, both seats, the cubby box are in, just need to put the bottom base on and uh, put the steering wheel on and I'm gonna be done, which is pretty good. So what we need to do is just push them back, get the seat base and chuck it in. It should be pretty easy. Look at that. Let's give it all a bit of a clean up, but it's looking really good. Going from this to a bit of this is always good. Uh, not only is it a little bit lighter, it looks better obviously, and it just I really like the feel of the slightly thinner wheel, sort of hard thing here, and it's also a 15 inch, so it's a bit smaller. But the feeling this compared to that is probably about a third of the weight. So what we're going to do now is get the boss kit, which is the actual mounting plate to the steering column, and uh, put it all together. As you can see, a bit of hardware here, so just do that now. No. 
I went for the Evander steering wheel and the classic Exmoor trim mats as well. And all the links for these products will be in the description below. And I'm just super happy with the outcome of it all. It looks amazing. One thing you may have noticed is that we haven't plugged the uh, heating element in yet. And that's something I'm gonna do another day. I just wanna make sure to get it all in, in one day. And then I'll look at that another time. I might even make a video of that. But I hope you liked having a look at what we've been doing today. And I'm super happy with the outcome. It looks absolutely amazing. Cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.